All right, look, this is a very nice closet, but you know, for a nice closet, there should be something nice inside, right? So I think this button opens the closet and I will open it. All right, three, two, one. Oh! Well, what was that? Uh, is that over? Okay, I think that's over. I think it's gone. Um, Alright, so let's see what's really inside. Oh! <laughs> Behind me is this closet that I built. If you remember last video, I built a troll house. And that house is kind of small. And if you, if you have a mansion and you want to still troll someone, you probably wouldn't like make the whole floor go up and down. That's just way too hard. So that's why I designed this troll closet, which trolls the player by only using a closet, which is the furniture in the house. This is way easier if you have a very big house and you just, and you still want to troll a player. So as you can see, this is how it looks from the side. So as you can see, there's a lamp that indicates the trap is ready to be used. If you don't want the lamp, obviously you can replace it. So the lamp is just for demonstration in this case, so I will place it back. So how this basically works is, as you can see inside is the two um, scares, and when you press the button, they launch out, and then they go down here and bumps up. So this is actually a reusable design, so you can use it multiple times. So if you didn't see, you can watch that again. It goes down, slides across, and bumps up. So this thing is 5 by 11 by 14. So 5 is 5 wide, 11 is 11 long, and 14 is 14 tall. So in addition to all those redstone, there's also a command block, which all it does is makes a very horrible sound that you would hear every time the thing launches out. So this thing is pretty pretty small, not that big, and I think you can build it in one of your friend's house, especially if, it, if they have a closet. Okay, so this is all what you need. 23 redstone, 13 repeat, yeah, I can just, you can just see, and the white wall indicates random blocks, so you can use any blocks, but make sure there are at least a stack. Alright, let's get all the materials, um, yep, that's all the materials we need. And then, and let's build it over here. Okay, so two stairs like this, ice block on the back, and then doors on the ice blocks. So make sure to use blue ice, because a lamp will be right here. And when the lamp turns on, it can melt the ice, but for blue ice, it won't melt. So make sure to use blue ice if you want to add a lamp. If you don't want a lamp, then you don't have to use blue ice, because it's kind of rare in survival. Okay, now we just add the lamp in and then put stairs above. And that's your closet. To hide the eyes down below, we can add a painting. And now we need to do a redstone. Put a button above here. Right now, put two redstone dust on top of these blocks. And then two normal blocks on the back of it. Then we will have more redstone. Okay, and then two obsidians down below like that. And then redstone all across like this. Then we will put in our command block. And we will do the command is play sound entity dot enderman death. And we'll put it on master and then to the nearest player who pressed the button. Now the command is done, and we will do the actual redstone. Okay, now put two blocks out this way, and also more redstone on top of them. Now put the piston where beside the command block, right here. And now we need the two slime blocks, like that. We probably should extend the ice blocks. Now, this is the whole launch system. If you press a button, the thing will get launched. Now we need to retract 
the floor about here, I think. Alright, now we want to attract the blocks right here, so let's replace it very quickly. But you don't have to. This is just to indicate that this is the blocks we will retract. Now what we need to do is put a dropper right here. Dropper, and then now extend the obsidian with a normal block and link it to this dropper. Now put two observers pointing downwards into this block. Alright, after this block, we would build a stair going three blocks down. Alright, with redstone dust on top of these two and a repeater right here. Then we need to add three more repeaters, like this. Then a redstone line. Then two redstone line like this, and then observer facing the redstone line, and then three more down at the bottom. Now we need a block, and then another block right here, another block right here, and then repeater on four ticks. Then we need one more block, and on top of it is the piston. And then we would do a one tick repeater pointing into a dropper right here. And the dropper is facing upward. Now on top of a tr the dropper, put another dropper facing towards uh, this direction and then another dropper facing into the bottom one and finally a hopper right here now below below this observer or beside it put a comparator like this and then a piston with an observer and a uh, the red stone is, the red part is facing this direction. And then, then we need a four tick repeater facing into an obsidian block. And then down below, we need a redstone dust. Beside this redstone dust, we need a piston and we need slime blocks. And two slime blocks actually, like that. And then, then we need obsidian on top like this to stop the armor stand when it's sliding over. All right now, now we need to build the slime path. Put two slime blocks like this and then get out your ice blocks. This can be normal ice since the light wouldn't melt. The light wouldn't reach this place. Then we just go over across until touching this slime block. Then we need to extend out this redstone dust to here. And then two, and then four regular blocks. Then we need comparator, which one is facing towards it, and then one is facing back. And then and then two more redstone dust like this. Then pull your slabs, and then place one place one beside this block, and then do a redstone tower like this. So we need to do six of them. So that's three and then three more. So four, five, and six. Then we need a block out here and then a four tick repeater. And then observer pointing towards it, the face, and a piston, and an observer one block above the piston head. Then in between the gap, we put three blocks like this, and then another four tick repeater right here, and two redstone dust, and place a one tick repeater instead of a four tick one. And at the end of the row, we put a piston and observer like this, and then one out here, and a block where the lamp is, beside the lamp. Then we need a redstone on top of this observer face, or observer block. And when this activates, the lamp should turn on, yeah, like that. We need to put an obsidian right here instead of a regular block. 
Alright, now we need to build a piston that will retract these ice blocks, which is just two right here. So they will retract the ice blocks, which will enable the armor stands to bounce up and close in time. Then we need a piston from this block up here, and then a observer and the red part is pointing in here towards these two pistons. And the top part is now done. Now we need to build the piston layout that will retract these two blocks away. So we go under one block into it, put a piston right here and there. Then we will put pistons on top like this. And three that goes down like that. And don't forget to add these pistons back. Then under it, we need to put up servers that are facing into the middle pistons. And that's the piston layout that will push this block away. Now we need two observers like that. Two blocks. Two normal blocks. And two repeaters under here. And these pistons should fire and then they will be pushed out. Now we need two redstone to connect them and make sure to put these back. Now we need to connect this circuit to the button. So we will we will extend it out right here. We will put a repeater on four ticks and we need a obsidian block right here. Then we need to build the secondary piston that would push it up completely. So two normal blocks here, a, right, a sticky piston, a obsidian beside it, and two slime blocks like that. Then behind this slime block, a sticky piston, put a sticky piston beside it, pointing into this direction. Then we need to put one observer right here that would read this redstone line. And then another observer right here. Then we need a normal block under it and then and then a four tick repeater. And a four tick repeater will point into a block which has a redstone torch on top of it. Then this then beside now put one block under the torch and one block beside it. And on this block will be a redstone. Powering this block and on the side of it put a, another redstone torch which should unlit. Then go under the torch two blocks and we will put a redstone dust, a four tick repeater, and, an, and another redstone dust on top of the block. And then the last step is go over one on these blocks and put a wall here so the armor stands wouldn't fall out. And obviously we need obsidians on these slime blocks. After we built the wall, the contraption is almost finished. All we need to do now is put a put any item, maybe a block, into this dropper, which will create a T flip flop. Then we put a observer down below like that and then a redstone on top. Now the light should light up. Then open the door and put in your armor stand. Then if we press the button as you can see the sound will play and then they will get bounced back up and the lamp will light up once again. Now we can just do it over and over. This is a reusable armor stand scaring system. Now obviously armor stands aren't scary enough so we will we'll add in skull and give them some armor. Now that's creepy enough. Yep so right now I'm on a server and as you can see it, it works. It will work better in single player, you wouldn't get this lag issue. Well, I'm on a server, which I do get, but it still works. Which is a very good thing. 
So fun fact about this design, I actually built this version first. Oh, let me just, let me just turn off the sound. I don't think you want to hear that once more. So this design also works. So as you can see, it works a little, it works slower and it's just way bigger. I don't think anyone wants to build this in their mansion. So after I did this, I moved on to here, which is very more compact version. We actually don't need this block. Very much compact version and it just works better. It's like way cleaner and just way more compact. I hope that you liked today's video and this contraption of course and then I will see you in the next one. I think in the next one Diamond Drawer will be back and there will be a big video coming in the next few weeks so make sure to stay tuned and subscribe. Also leave a comment if you want to see what we do if you want to if you want to suggest what we do and we will see you in the next video. Bye!